Hi, and welcome to this demo. Today, we're going to talk about the API Courier registry. If you haven't checked it out yet, API Courier is an open source community focused on APIs, and they have a very good web-based editor for API specifications. The registry was launched last year, and they have just released a new version that now includes a brand new UI, as well as a Kubernetes operator for installing and managing the registry on Kubernetes and OpenShift. This makes it super easy to get started with the registry, so you can, as you can see in this quick start. First, we need to install all the resources required for the operator. API Crew provides a template that you can uh, get from the GitHub repo, so we can just cut and paste. I will be using a kind OneNote cluster that I have already created for testing this simple project. So let's create a namespace for installing the operator called apicurio, then paste the curl command, and then replace the namespace in the uh, kubectl apply as well as the namespace um, replacement for the files. We apply the command. And then we can see the resources were correctly created in the cluster. We can wait a few seconds for the deployment to be successful. So we can check that the pod was started and running. To easily get started, we can use the in-memory example provided by Apicurio. So we can copy the URL and then we can download that file locally so we can edit it. With the file locally, we can just open that for editing. We can delete the last command and we can add the following configuration. As part of the specification, we type in configuration. Then the persistence. In this case, we are going to use the in-memory one that is just for development use. And also the deployment hostname for exposing the ingress. So in my case, the host is going to be example registry.local that is mapped to my local host. We can now save the file and then we can apply the resource. Let's check that the resources were created by the operator. Okay, it looks like everything was uh, correctly deployed. Now check that it was uh, the ingress was created. Yep, there was a um, ingress created with the host uh, example registry.local and it's mapped to my local host address. Time to check the UI. So let's uh, type in the uh, host name that we configure in the deployment. And now this show us the UI. We will see the main registry dashboard where we can start working with our specifications and schemas. For this example, I'm going to upload an average schema for my prices topic. We click the open dialog, then we can name the resource. In my case, it's called price. Then we click the browse button to load the file. We um, filter by the average extension and select the desired file. After clicking on upload, the file is now in the registry, so we can see the record is being created. We can uh, then download the file, we can see the content of the artifact, and we can also enable some rules like validity as well as compatibility. Also, we can uh, check the versions available, and we can also delete the file if we don't want to have it anymore. As we mentioned, the registry also works as a catalog, so you can search by name, description, or labels. You can now use the registry to validate schemas or discover APIs. As you can see, it's very simple to get started with API Courier Service Registry. Hope you like this. 
video and keep watching. Thanks for viewing.